I believe very strongly people will move for a good As job a, and a good yes, culture. That is just like the biggest yeah. misperception mm -hmm. out there that you can't re recruit because the local community is there, isn't there. If you're known to be a great employer, people are going to go where there's opportunity. The second thing is that I believe that the number one beneficiary, and I say this without this being a zero sum game, but it being a fact, of diversity efforts in America have been white women. White women have benefited. So when you read annual reports and read all these pages about diversity and things like that, and I challenge you all because I do it all the time to see how many pages are devoted to it, and then you look at the executive ranks of those organizations, you'll see at least more white women than you will see people of color. So as an organization, people have to decide they're going to do something differently. The other thing that bothers me, and I have to say this, it's not with anger or with you know, any kind of anxiety, it's just disappointing, is that we are working on this. And we don't work on anything else that matters in our companies. Right. You either do or you do not. As my husband wrote for Yoda, <laughs> there is no try. <laughs> You do not work on better earning. That's right. You do not work on having a product that's better. If it's not good enough, you know customers don't, aren't going to buy it. But for some reason, we've all been allowed to get in this conversation of working on diversity. And at some point, we have to put literally a stake in the ground. Last point, my favorite story is a CEO told me that he had an open position for comms in his organization, and he had no people of color in the executive ranks. So he went to the executive recruiter, and he said, I want a diverse slate. The executive recruiter came back and said, we couldn't find anyone. So he told his entire senior team, got it, there's no one. So what we're going to do is we're not going to fill the job. So we're not going to have a head of comms inside of this publicly traded company. The general counsel, the CFO, panic. Like, we can't rub a public company without a head of communication. Suddenly, there was a diverse slate. Yep. And that became, he became hardcore about it, saying, we're just not going to proceed. So when I hear the working on or people want move, I can just yep. tell you yep. that if there is an opportunity, smart, thoughtful people are going to go. Yeah. yeah take us home. We're not okay, a business. OK, I'll take you home. Tell your thing. Say your thing. Just a couple of things. Um, one, that is our plight. Right. And I can live in Greenwich, Connecticut, and be a CEO, and wear whatever. But at the end of the day, I'll have a driver, won't tell you the company, who asked me when he picked me up from my home, so you work for this family. And so I think we got to get past, look the part, talk the part, have the credentials. At the end of the day, I think as black women, we weep just like the young mother who has her son shot for wearing a hoodie. Um, and so I think what we need from all of you is that we have to all commit that this is a sisterhood. Because the reality is there's not enough of us sitting out there, and so we need you. Yeah. Um, we need the sisterhood. And I, I, think, I think we have to walk away from this conference, like Melody said, and decide that diversity is not a business case. It is what we are, it is who we are, and it's what we're going to get done. And I think if we can join forces, you Absolutely. know, we can make sure that we reach as we climb and that you can pick up that young black girl and let her know there's three women from another company that looks like her that can ascend, and in the meantime, you'll stand in the gap. And so I think that's what we need in order to make, you know, corporate America a little bit more browner and a little bit more female. That's perfect. I always Thank challenge of one I always challenge um, the people in my life with one very specific point. We know a lot more about you than you know about us. That's right. Yes. And, the, and so if you make that investment in knowing as much about us as we know about you, I promise you we know a lot more. Yeah. yeah sure. And I will challenge, as I mentioned, everyone in this room, uh, just find, some, find a friend that may not be of your race and just have a conversation. And the more we understand where everyone is coming from, I think we all move in a better place. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, there's just not enough of women to begin with. And then uh, from a diversity standpoint, not enough black women or Hispanic women uh, in leadership roles, and it, it must change. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.